Now this video might be long, so prepare yourself. I'm gonna try and keep it short. It's gonna be a two-parter. So this first one is gonna focus on how to install liveries on the F122 game and any other mods. Whereas the second video will focus purely on how to make liveries or mods for the F1 game, two different things. The installation is usually the thing that gets most people in trouble or what you struggle with the most, whereas making it is the easy bit because all you have to do is use one program, that's Photoshop in this case, and design whatever you want to do, whether it's a helmet, a livery, a suit, etc. So leave a like if you're going to enjoy, find this informative, share the video if at the end of it it's helped you out and you know someone else who might need this, and yeah, subscribe for more as I'm trying to chase 100,000 subs by the end of the year, and let's get into it. We are going to need five things for this to work. Number one, Photoshop. This is a program which I use to mod what I do on the game for liveries. So if you can get it, do it. You can use a free trial. You can also get it for free. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Number two, on Photoshop, there's going to be a plugin that you need, which is going to save the files in a special way so they're compatible with the F1 game. That is the NVIDIA. DDS plugin. So go ahead and scroll down, download the one that is suitable for your platform. In my case, it would be a Windows 10 64 bit. So go ahead and give that a crack. Optional, maybe depending on which version of Photoshop you use, you might need to double check it has 3D enabled, which I'll show you in a moment. Number three, you're going to need Ego ERP Archiver. This is the critical program. This is the program responsible for exporting and importing files in and out of the F1 game. So go ahead, go to download now. Go ahead, make a donation because these guys work really hard and do a good job of providing this software. And then once you've done that, download the latest version, which is Ego ERP Archiver 9.0. So go ahead and do that. Once you've got the programs, you're then going to need the mods to make this work. Now, in the old days, it was much more complicated. This now is a lot easier thanks to a person by the name of Mayan on Race Department. He has come up with the genius idea of modular mods, which were a thing on last year's game, and it makes modding so much easier, and that's what I'm going to focus on on this video. So first of all, you're going to need the base files, which you need for any type of modular mod and then also then you're going to go ahead and download the my team package because in this video we're going to focus on my team exclusively in this package you're going to be able to mod the car livery template you can also change the car numbers the helmet the driver suit and the team emblem which is what i use for my my team career mode I recommend watching the tutorial video which has been made if you have more time to really understand how this works in detail. It's going to really help you out and give you far more better explaining than what I can do in this video. Finally, once you have your programs and your mods, what you're going to need is your 3D models because with this you can make your own liveries. You have past F1 games, you know, even safety cars, supercars. In this case, you can see here F122 cars. You've got the FOM, Ferrari, Aston Martin, Haas, Alpine, McLaren, Mercedes, Red Bull, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri and Williams. Take your pick and change what you want to do. You can also change the helmet as well. So yeah, these things will get added and updated as time goes on. So race suits, gloves, all that stuff, you can give it a go. Or you can even reuse stuff from old games. I find, for example, that, you know, suits and stuff you can still use from last year's game. Or even F1 2020, and they still work fine. You can see here we've got a driver suit, uh, cap, boots, gloves, team files as well. So umbrella, pit crew, all that stuff can be changed here. So go ahead, download whatever you want to modify in terms of the 3D models, and then open it all up in Photoshop. Now, once you have Photoshop installed, as you can see here on the screen, you want to make sure you have the 3D ability. So basically, if you have this tab up the top of the screen, the top tab 3D, if that's available, you have 3D installed. If you don't, install a more recent version of Photoshop until you get this available. Also, Ego ERP Archiver is very easy to install. Once you have it, open it up and it should look like this blank with nothing to find. What you want to do is the very first thing, go to settings and then game directory and then you want to set your directory to wherever your F122 game is stored on your PC. So we're going to go ahead and find it. As you can see, I've already got a bookmark saved, but I know that my game is going to be in this PC 
then it's going to be in the lots of storage boy which is my hard drive we're then going to go into program files 86 steam then we scroll down to steam apps common and then in there i have f122 so we're going to go ahead and select that folder so that basically sets the game to open up automatically when you open the program so with that done photoshop with the plugin installed and 3d available ego erp ready to go we can now get to work now this video is focused on my team and how to make livery so on the website with the 3d models you're going to go ahead and download the 2022 fom car 3d model once you download that you're going to have a file which i have here in my kind of mods folder and it's called 2022 underscore fom underscore car underscore psd a psd is a photoshop file that you can modify and change what you're going to do is going to fire that file up in photoshop and it's going to look something like this not exactly the same you're going to have a generic looking car this is my my team livery that's why it looks different but basically if your photoshop is set up correctly you have the plugin and also you have 3d available you're going to have the ability to look at your car and just you know see it in 3d with the details and how everything's going to look so this is where we're going to skip a step and the second video which is how to make livery we will talk about that another time which is you know a bit time consuming and it's a bit of a different kind of phase for now though um, let's say you've kind of messed around with photoshop for a few hours and you've got a livery that you're happy with uh, what you want to do first of all is with this 3d one you want to open up as you can see on the right hand side here we have decal number and paint you want to open up paint you want to work only on this layer because this is going to be what you're going to see so go ahead make your livery however you want you can see here i've got the blue which if i click the eye icon to hide it the 3d model will update and will have no blue on it as you can see here so basically just mess around make a livery you're happy with and essentially when you're done and you have a finished product you want to save it so how does this work there's two steps number one you go to file save as and you're going to save let's say in this case to i'm going to do it to my desktop just to kind of not mess up my files um, we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to call it uh, my team livery right and you're going to save the file as a photoshop psd the reason you do this first is because this is going to be your little cheat so essentially you're saving it as a psd and you can always reopen this file and go back and modify your work which is very important if you want to change things or you notice a mistake you can always go back and update it the second thing you want to do is go to file again save as and this time you're going to want to use that plugin so the intel texture works nvidia dds plugin this is what you have to save as to be able to bring the file into the game so go ahead select intel texture works dds if you don't have this you haven't installed the plugin correctly so make sure you do click save and then once you have that you want to save it in these settings so the color not alpha just color on its own uh, 4 BPP uh, DX10 plus BC1 sRGB make sure mid maps is set to none and then press OK give it a couple of seconds to save properly and then there you go once that's done you're gonna have that file to bring into the game now let's move into the next step so before we install the skin and delivery into the game we need to drag in the mods which are going to make this process a lot easier of course i'm talking about modular mods so first of all step number one you have the readme files if you need any help on how to you know install these you're going to have the instructions on how to do them if you really need to be careful with this um, it's not really that hard it even tells you how to remove it if necessary so again i urge you to take your time and do it properly but i know how to do this i've done it a million times so here we have in this main central one we have the base files for the modular mods on the one to the right we have the my team package which features of course the badge the livery the helmet the driver suits all that stuff and then on the left we have the main directory where my f122 game is saved so let's install it very very simple drag you know a copy and paste process without having to extract files so first of all base files which is in the middle you're going to go into f122 and you're going to have two folders modular mods and asset groups now what we have in the assets groups folder is going to basically just trick the game into allowing this to work so very simple all you have to do is just select both folders drag them across into your main directory 
overwrite the files that are necessary and just click OK. Once you have that, that's step one out of the way. You then go to the second download, which is the, the My Team package, and you've got an optional folder there, which isn't really important. Again, go to the README if you want to know what exactly that's all about. But for now, we're going to go into just modular mods, and you can see you have these five things right here. We're going to drag all five of these into the modular mods folder now on the main game. So go inside. Very important, go into active because basically whatever's inside this folder is going to be working. So go into the active folder, drag all of these in, drag them across, and there you go. So essentially now you're going to have all of these things working in the game for you. Now then, let's close these now that we've finished and we have what we need to work on now, what we need to work with. So you want to install a livery for my team, okay? So you're going to launch the Ego ERP Archive program, which we already have open. Um, you can do it from these files directly. That's the beauty of modular mods. It's so easy. Um, you don't have to kind of go through the process in such detail anymore. So in this case, we're going to change the livery, which is going to be livery underscore my team. Double click and it opens it up for you straight away already. As you can see, you have a livery here to change, which is a uh, form 22. You also have livery number 03. Now this is for a future video, which I don't even know too well how to explain this, but basically you could actually install a, a livery here, which will be compatible with the game. So you can actually still color change it in game like you already can. But even I don't fully understand how this works. So we're going to keep it simple for now. You want to work on livery FOM 22. So pretty self-explanatory you want to go to textures which is the, the the thing we're going to import into the game go to import and then we saved our livery onto the desktop right go ahead select the my team livery which if you let the cursor hover over you can see it's a dds file click open and then give it a second and there you go it's now in your game you also have the livery underscore fom 22d and the underscore s now, what I would do is for the D version, do the same thing. So textures, import, the same file again, open it up, let that sit there. And then underscore S. Now, this is where things get a bit interesting. This is usually, historically, the kind of finish for the paint. So if you want matte paint, you know, metallic paint, um, gloss paint, whatever it might be, this is where you get to pick how it works. Now, I once received this file from somebody. It's not fully, fully accurate as I think it was designed for the F1 2020 game, but feel free to copy if you want to try these finishes. Basically, you have the color codes on the right, and I'm going to show you how to make them work now. So once again, we're going to need Photoshop to make this work. Now, we've returned to Photoshop, and you can see we still have our work here, which, you know, is our livery. Now, this is when things get very complicated, okay, because you can really go into detail. And for example, you can have the blue be a certain finish, the black be a different finish, and then the red highlights be another different finish. It depends on what your livery is gonna be. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna keep it very simple, and we're just gonna go with one finish for the whole thing. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of delete everything because it's not important in terms of what we have. You can go ahead and remove all these things. You basically just want one plain color all the way through. So let's go ahead and pick a finish. I'm going to go for matte. So we have 009600. That's the matte code. So we'll go ahead and do that in Photoshop right now. So we're going to go ahead, select the color, and it was 0096. Okay, so we're just going to change these two middle values to 96. And as you can see, we have the color selected. I'm going to get the paint bucket on the left, which is how I've organized my Photoshop. And all you do is just click it, replace the color, and there you go. Once again, repeat the process. File, save as. First of all, a PSD in case you want to change the finish sometime in the future. Keep the name the same. I just usually call it my team livery. And then because it's called the S file, because it's the, the finish, just call it S file. That's what I would normally do. Save as a PSD and then repeat the process. Make sure you save it as a DDS, just like the regular livery file. Same settings as before. And there we go. So we can now move back into Ego ERP, Textures, Import. On the desktop, select the S file, click Open. It overwrites the previous finish. And there we have it. Go ahead, File, Save. It's already got the name there, so just save it again. It will ask to overwrite and replace, which we want. 
click yes and there we go we're finished done simple as that that's how you install a livery for my team this year it's that simple with modular mods let's launch the game and let me show you how it looks right here we are then in the main menu so we're going to go ahead and basically select the livery so let's go ahead and go to customization once you go there you go to player car liveries and in my case design 3 as you can see i already have the livery installed the wheels are a strange finish I can, i'll show you that in a separate video in terms of how to make the livery but basically as you can see we have the livery in game and it's installed with the matte finish so happy days all round just to let you guys know in case you don't have the livery already pre-selected let's go to edit and go to the liveries tab and it's going to equate to the calibrate livery which is on the far right that is what fom livery 22 equates to so go ahead scroll all the way to the right and you should have the livery in game but there we have it guys that is it in a nutshell in a future video hopefully not too far in the future maybe next week i'll do the how to actually make a livery video uh, that could get quite long so i might just make a basic livery and how to use photoshop and i'll show you how to change the wheels because that's a big part this year in terms of designing the wheel covers and you can kind of customize them to your liking so yeah get subscribed for that video and notifications on for when it drops next week hopefully but yeah that is it in terms of how to install a my team livery hopefully you enjoyed it you can apply this process to any of the modular mods which are available on the f1 game so i do recommend doing some research watching the tutorial on how modular mods works as well like i mentioned before um, take your time don't rush modding give it some respect and always make sure you have backups of your game and modding is only available on pc so bear that in mind but yeah if you guys see someone in the comments struggling or having an issue feel free to help out and i'll try and do my best as well but yeah leave a like subscribe all that good stuff share the video as i mentioned in the intro and as always a massive shout out to the members for supporting the content finally check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already and that is it from me here today and i'll see all of you in the next one